By the end of 2022 and since the beginning of 2023, there has been a decrease of Google Chrome users and Google is slowly losing its share on the web browser market. This is due to the announcement Google made regarding Manifest V3, which will be implemented in January 2023. Manifests are basically lists of rules and guidelines that developers have to follow if they want to upload an extension to the web browser. What Google says about Manifest V3 is that it narrows down the number of shady extensions while making it easier for extensions with good performance and security to adapt to the web browser. And we can all agree that there are a lot of changes that help developers make progressive web apps. But they will also apply changes to something called Web Request API. This will limit what browser extensions can do and ad blockers and track blockers will lose their efficiency. In very simple terms, extensions now will have to tell Google exactly what they want to do and what they will access. So basically, they have to declare in advance what they will want to block. Google claims that this will help with security since more than 40% of malicious extensions use the Web Request API. And although this might be true, users are saying that what Google really, really wants is to decrease the number of blocked ads since it's causing them to lose money. Most people will probably continue to use Chrome and will accept that their ad blocker is not as efficient. Others will move to Brave, Firefox, Opera, and so on. For other browsers like Firefox, there is an opportunity to use this as a marketing strategy and grab some of the market share percentage from Google. And as for the safety feature, who knows how efficient it really is and for how long it will last, since people always find a way around safety measures and rules. What we do know is that Google now has more control over the extensions and will probably see an increase in revenue coming from ads. And on a personal note, unless the ad block changes turn out to be very significant, I will probably continue to use Google Chrome since I use a lot of Google designed features and apps for my hobbies, leisure and work. Honestly, I think that just shows the influence Google now has on the market in our daily lives and they don't really have any competition. So thank you so much for watching this video guys. Don't forget to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe. I know this type of content isn't really what I usually post on my channel, but I really wanted to try this out. Hopefully you enjoyed it and hopefully I will see you in the next video.